it going everyone? We made it to Texas. Long drive yesterday, but we made it. It's Thursday, we're just two days out from the race. We're about to head to the expo to pick up everything I need, but I am so excited. I cannot wait from the race, but I hope you guys are doing well. It's great to see you again, and let's get going. So we've got a very busy day ahead, but thankfully we're all checked in, which was the most important part of the day. But my coach is currently on a flight from Atlanta to meet us here in Texas. So we're gonna head over to the airport soon and pick her up. But I got a bike, I got a run to do, hopefully a swim if I've got some time. But uh, the most important part is just uh, keeping off my legs, recovering for Saturday. But this is all part of it. I love it. The days leading up to an Ironman are crazy busy but that's what makes it good. So happy. <laughs> there she is. So we're just waiting here for Coach. She should be through any minute now. And I just want to say, I know she'll be watching this. And she's got another athlete racing, but the fact that she's flying all the way out here to support us at the race is beyond amazing. So thank you, coach. Thank you so much. And it'll make race day that much better. But we'll see you in a few minutes. Why am I not surprised? Good morning. Is it still morning? Yes. Yeah. So we've made it back home with Coach, which means the whole gang is here now, so we can relax a little bit. But it's lunchtime now, and I've gone for the exact same thing that I have back home, because I don't want to have to deal with any stomach problems on Saturday. But then we got a bike and a run to do later. Got the bike here behind me, it's all ready to go. But I'm hungry, so I'm going to have some lunch, and then we'll keep this day going. Alrighty, so unfortunately I did not film any of the bike or the run. It all just got a bit stressful and it was moving very fast. But anyway, I'll put the Strava files on the screen now. I did a 50 minute bike ride, nothing crazy, and then a nice 20 minute run. I'm feeling amazing. But uh, to be honest, the roads right around Transition, which is where I rode, in Texas are, are not ideal. There's a lot of traffic lights. But anyway, we got it done. It was better than doing nothing. But um, yeah, I'm feeling really good. Legs are feeling great. Just cannot wait for Saturday. But it's the evening now. I need to get everything ready. I need to set all my transition bags out. I need to do some stuff to my bike to get ready for Saturday. Oh, God, I'm so excited. Yes. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It is Friday. We're just one day away from Texas. It's been a crazy day. Yesterday was very crazy, just nonstop running around. I'm gonna do more filming today. We're gonna bring you along for everything. I've just been getting stuff ready. Got my transition bags back here. I'll go all through that later. But right now we're headed out for a practice swim. We're gonna do a bike ride. We're gonna do a run. And then I gotta get ready for the rest of the day. But man, are we getting close. Iron Man Texas, baby, let's go. <laughs> It's crazy busy this morning. We're just lining up to get in the practice swim. The water is just under 76 degrees this morning, so it is wetsuit legal. So I'm gonna practice wearing the wetsuit for tomorrow. It's kind of overcast today, so I'm pretty sure the water is not gonna go up above 76 point, what is it, two degrees for the wetsuit legal? But anyway, we're gonna jump in, we're gonna feel out this water. Ah, let's go, it's getting real now. Let's go swim.
Alrighty, so we did 850 yards this morning. My shoulders were pretty tight. I haven't swam since Tuesday this week. My shoulders were pretty tight for the first like four or 500. But after that, I did some, some hard strokes to get into the race feel and uh, feeling much better at the end there. Glad I got in and did that. The water, is, it's cool. I'm glad I had my wetsuit on. It's definitely, it doesn't feel like it's almost not wetsuit legal. It's definitely pretty chilly, but um, I'm hoping it's wetsuit legal tomorrow. I love wearing my wetsuit, so fingers crossed for that. But um, yeah, we got a busy day ahead. That's the swim done. We got a bike and run to do now, so let's keep it going. Got to be efficient today. <laughs> Lots to do. So I'm gonna hop on the bike now, do a half hour ride. A couple intervals in this ride, but really it's just to check that my brakes aren't rubbing, everything is tight and good on the bicycle. And then we'll get this loaded later, just spin the legs out, enjoy it, and make sure we're good to go. We're feeling good, 20 minutes in, Legs are feeling amazing. I hope I feel like this tomorrow because it will be a good day. A little bit windy, but I don't mind the wind too much. As long as it's a headwind or a tailwind, that's all right. It's when the crosswind starts just battering you. That's when it's not so much fun. I just can't stop myself from smiling today. done our swim this morning, we've done a little bike ride, now I'm just going to do a 10 minute run to make sure these shoes feel okay. I can tell you they're going to feel great, they feel amazing already. There's a quick little run, spin the legs out, then that's it for workouts today, got a lot more stuff to do, but I'm going to go run in these bad boys and I'll try and keep it slow. It's going to be tough because these shoes are so bouncy. Let's go do a little run. Little run! <laughs> These shoes feel amazing. So I've just finished putting together all my transition and special needs bags for the race tomorrow. I'm just gonna quickly walk you through what's in each bag and kind of my nutrition plan for tomorrow. Very vaguely, we're not gonna go too in depth. But starting with the bike bag. The nutrition for the bike, I've gone for 16 non-caffeinated Morton gels. Those are all going to be going in one bottle which is gonna sit between my arms. That'll be for the first three and a half, four hours of the bike. Then I've got three caffeinated gels. I shouldn't need them all but those are gonna be for the last kind of 45 minutes, half an hour of the bike, just to get some caffeine going. I've also got an entire thing of salt, which is gonna be going in the down tube of my bike, that little pocket I have, because it's gonna be very hot tomorrow. We're gonna to need a lot of salt. I've gone for in my bike special needs and in my run special needs, I've got two bags of Haribo gummy bears, and in the bike, in case everything goes bad, I've got a Red Bull, so that should give me some energy, but the plan is not to use these bags. They're just there in case I need them. Finally, the T2 Run Transition Bag. Got my GoPro, because I've received permission from Ironman, so I'm gonna be running with the GoPro for the marathon, which I'm super excited about. And we've got sunglasses, because it should be really sunny. And then I'll pick this bag up when I'm leaving transition, so I can kind of stuff it in my pockets on my way. But I've got two caffeinated Morton gels. I've got that cooling headband, can't quite remember what it's called and then another bag of salt, because it's gonna be very hot tomorrow. And then, obviously, we've got the race number, and then the Alpha Fly 3 Speed Shoes. Absolutely love these things. We've got the socks already in the shoes for hopefully a faster transition. Transition bags are all packed. Bike is behind me, all ready to go. We're gonna take the bike in a transition. We're gonna drop the run bag and the back bag off. So let's go get that done.
up the bike rack, we dropped off the run bag, and we dropped off the bike bag. So we're all good here. Now we're gonna drive the first part of the bike course a bit, because there's a lot of turns. Just wanna make sure I'm familiar with it for tomorrow. Then we're gonna head home, we're gonna put our feet up, we're gonna get some rest, because we got a big day tomorrow. So excited. Let's go. Thank you. Oi. So we're back home. It's just after 4 p.m. Gonna rest my legs, sit around and do pretty much nothing for the next few hours. Gonna have an early dinner and get to bed early because of course, we got an early start in the morning. So I just wanted to briefly discuss kind of my plans for tomorrow's race, my times, my predicted times, kind of how I'm expecting to do. Mainly so A, you guys have an idea and B, so I can look back at it after the race and see how close I was to those times. So the swim is definitely going to be wetsuit legal, which I'm in favor of, but somewhere between 52 and 54 minutes is what I'm aiming for. It's definitely possible, absolutely under an hour, and I, I think I've been swimming well recently, so I'm excited to see what we can do tomorrow. But a good day starts with a good swim. Now onto the bike. The part I'm most excited for, and probably the biggest question mark of the day in terms of timing. I'd love to go under 430 for the bike, holding between 230 and 240 watts, which is definitely doable. That power is absolutely doable. I need to be able to get up and run, so we're not going to push too hard on the bike, but it just it's out of my control at this point. The wind's going to be what it is, so I'm just going to stick to my numbers, enjoy the day, and have a good bike ride. Now as for the run, I am so excited to see what I can do. Obviously, we had the Boston Qualification Marathon a couple months ago. I ran, what, like a 247? Not that I'm gonna run a 247 tomorrow, but I would love to run a 250. I think playing it safe would be a three. So anywhere between, I'll be honest, a 250 and a 255, I would be extremely happy with. We're gonna go, I need to focus on going out easy, just keeping it steady, and the race doesn't start until the last 10K, we'll say. We're gonna keep it easy, and if we've got stuff left for the last six miles, then we'll go like the clappers. But I'm just ready for a fun day. So as for timing, obviously, with the, the bike being such a big question mark, with the conditions could affect the time so much, but I'm really hoping for a sub 8.30 tomorrow. Obviously, I'm not gonna be chasing the time, because to be honest, you can't really tell what time you're going for on your watch. So we're just gonna go out there. I'm gonna do what I can on the day. I'm gonna have fun, I'm gonna enjoy it. And whatever the time is at the end of the day, that's what we get. So obviously tomorrow's race is my first time towing the start line of an Ironman officially in over 15 months. And the past two years have been rough to say the least. So tomorrow I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna do it for everyone that's helped me get here there have been so many people that have just gotten me through the toughest of times and I'm so grateful for that. So I'm going to go out there, I'm going to hopefully do everyone proud tomorrow, I'm going to enjoy it, but this one is for them. Time for some dinner, pre-race meal, plain pasta, Add some grilled chicken with a bit of butter. Just keeping it simple, sticking to what I know. We don't want an upset stomach tomorrow. If I had to have one meal the rest of my life, it would be plain pasta with butter. I don't know why. Absolute favorite. <laughs> it's my sister. Hello. Hello. How are you? Alrighty, so I'm gonna head off to bed now. We got a big day tomorrow. 
Iron Man Texas. Let's go have some fun. But I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me get ready for this race. I'm so excited for tomorrow, honestly. I'm not gonna get much sleep tonight. But that's gonna do it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, be happy, be healthy, and be yourself. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next one. Say bye, everybody! Bye! <laughs> bye!